Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Nada. Not here. Nothing here. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay. Go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V. I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Ah, shit! Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. Time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. Jack. Scorpion. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Own kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? got maps of the heavens in your library too of course that's the big dipper and do you see the small flickering star to the right uh, yeah you do oh dear that means there's a major leak good night V Ready? Let's ride, V. Surround them as soon as they're coming. 
Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. 
Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Hey, V, come here. A little closer now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city boy. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rake. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep, but more driving, less talking. Sun on my face, wind in my head. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. 
My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. We're heading for the collapsed bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted... He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on, it's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh... Thanks, V. For today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right.
Be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. <laughs> so I hear. for dinner maybe Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family how could I say no right great see you at Joss's then sounds preem just a little more time all ready to go maybe no, not yet. 
Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. 